It's the year 2005. YouTube is launched. North Korea announces it possesses nuclear weapons, but most importantly, Need for Speed Most Wanted launched with what would be known as one of the most legendary cars in the automotive industry, the BMW M3 GTR. And as a six-year-old absolute menace, living in my home country of Havana, Cuba, I, I spent my time being chased by cops in my M3 GTR. So fast forward 18 years, We are creating the Need for Speed BMW M3 GTR with this $1,000 BMW M3. M3? It's an M3. No, it's not. That's not an M3. Honey, yes, it is. That's not an M3. Yes, honey, look. How are you going to explain this M3 logo? <laughs> <laughs> so don't even say that. It's not funny. What about the motor? So you're so... Get in the front, get in, get, in, okay. get in the front. Bam, right there, zoom in, zoom in right there. That's just a sticker, this isn't an S54. You got scammed. No wonder I got it for a thousand nine hundred bucks. Let's go to um, when we picked up this car. Ready to pick up this M3? Yeah. Three minutes away from possibly the worst car I've ever bought, but thankfully it don't matter. But we're meeting up halfway. I don't know if he's there yet. Actually, I accidentally sent the wrong address at first, and then literally on my way here, I was like, "Yo, what the heck? I sent the wrong address." So I sent him the other address. Thankfully, we did not get stood up like every single Facebook Marketplace meetup. The guy was very nice. He was actually from Jamaica. But most importantly, the car was indeed a POS. But I had to make sure we made it home. So obviously, we had to give it a few reps. Record this car. This car's more important right now, bro. So the only thing is the oil pressure light came on. Now it's off, but the car runs fine, honestly. I don't even care how it runs, to be honest. There's a service engine light. All right, we're taking her home, boys. We're taking her home, boys. And well, we took it. $1,900 later, and we own an E46 BMW, baby. We're cutting from the video. We're out here in Central Park, New York City, baby. And this is the final video for the year, so I'm going to do something pretty crazy. We're going to choose two winners for today's giveaway. Comment down below your favorite mem memory of 2023, and we're going to pick two winners. And you're going to win $100. Go and do that and have an amazing rest of the year, because I won't see you until January. We're going to talk more about the car in a little bit, but we're doing something that has never been done on this channel. Kiefer made the drive with us, so I let him pick. Do you want to drive this car or you want to drive the SUV? Kiefer's going to drive this car home. <laughs> History is made. Let's go. And obviously, as we're leaving, Kiefer has to race the Lamborghini with the E46. Also, I have never in my life seen a car that's this bouncy. Ladies, booty bounce. Ladies, booty bounce. Like this, this, this. Well, Kiefer does look good in the car, and we're thankfully making it home safely. Before we continue, I got to talk to you guys about a brand that has been taking over the world recently, and it is thankfully to the sponsor, Timu. Timu is basically an online store that you can literally buy anything from, from clothing to shoes to accessories for your car to car stuff. And well, let's just say I went a little crazy. Especially with a site-wide sale with savings up to 90% off, your boy went a little crazy with the parts. Plus, I want to know how they are. <laughs> But yeah, we definitely didn't stop there. And if any of these things I don't like, there's also free shipping and free returns for up to 90 days after you receive the item. These impact sockets actually feel extremely high quality. We also had to go ahead and get a full wiring terminal set. You never know when you gotta splice two wires and make a quick connection. It's always good to have all these essentials in hand. Same goes for a bag full of clips. These clips break all the time. So having these in hand is really handy. And one of my favorite ones, these drill bits that actually can go into my impact and makes everything clean. Now, I will be leaving the link in the description to some of these items. So you can click that or go to the website or just download the Timo app on your mobile phone. And I know I look great in this bag, but how about we skip that and we talk about one thing I'm very excited about, and that is this electric tool. I have yet to get an electric ratchet. And man, this thing feels 
good on the hands. I've always wanted one of these. I'm not gonna lie. And the reason why I always want them is it's way easier to use than one of these bad boys. I mean, these are awesome, but they can't get to all places. And that is actually why I bought a 90 degree for it. But now there's no need for that. The thing is you can actually break things loose just like that and then very, very cool. And it came just in time because we're taking apart Crystal's valve cover. And you may be asking why. Well, when I took out the injectors, they were full of oil. Just went ahead, new valve cover gasket and new valve cover. This car needs to be 100%. And by clicking the link in the description, you will get a $100 bundle offer. With that being said, thank you so much to Timu for sponsoring today's video. What an absolute banger and awesome of a sponsor. Like I said, all the links will be provided in the description. Go browse to the website. There's just so many discounts. It's disgusting. This thing has no brake pressure. Oh, that's that's not good, buddy. Well, I guess it is just a regular 325 Ci that is absolutely beat to crap. Probably the worst car I've ever purchased, but we're going to create it into something incredible. Why am I taking on the biggest project I've ever done or this channel has ever seen? I mean, this car, there's nothing left to it, but I am from Cuba. I was born there, I was raised there, and one of the memories that I'm never gonna forget, and I literally think about this every day for some reason, is me playing Need for Speed Most Wanted, getting chased by cops, creating my own cars. And I remember one car in specific, which a lot of people remember, that is the E46 M3 GTR. And since thanks to you guys, I'm in a position where I can do awesome, cool stuff for fun, for you guys to enjoy and for me to enjoy. Why not we create my childhood dream car and the most epic car of all time with this POS. With that out of the way, let, what are we working with here? Cause this is, this is bad. We're down bad. I have no idea what motor this is. I think this is like an M54. That's probably not even right. We have a massive oil leak right there. And as you guys saw when we picked up the car, the oil pressure light is always also on. <laughs> yeah, this motor, we can't have an M3 GTR with a little N line six that may be cool, but it's not cool enough to be inside that legendary car. I'm pouring my heart out into this car. And as you say, the motor we're gonna get for it, better airflow obviously it is a coupe that's why it's a ci the interior it's my least favorite interior i mean this interior is disgusting the plan for this build body interior and then the almighty motor and yes a lot of you are probably wondering danny why would you get a 325 ci and not a bmw m3 well it hurts a lot less cutting into a 1900 325 ci than a ten thousand dollar BMW M3, especially when it's my first time doing wide body. And then on top of that, that 325Ci is gonna be way cooler than a regular M3. So it only made sense. One minute on the clock, boom. Let's talk about some details of the M3 GTR from New First Speed, most wanted, that came out, I believe, back in 2005. Yes, it is gonna have the big wing. It has like two random exhaust ports i don't know what that is but we're definitely not doing that side exit exhaust we are going to do it is pretty complicated but once we get the motor in and figure all that out side exit exhaust will be on the car and a really cool detail is that on the blue design there's a white outline we're also going to be doing that we're going to go as authentic as possible except when it comes down to obviously the motor the wheels and the interior. We are going to obviously transform the interior is my favorite thing to do, but it might be a little more modern than bucket seats in a cage. We're not exactly there, but I can say the interior is not gonna be 100% like the video game and the wheels. So we're still gonna stick with silver wheels like the video game, but we're gonna go with a different design and something a little more aggressive or cooler looking. Oh man, but yeah, it's pretty bad. It's pretty, this is probably the worst interior I've ever seen. I mean, look at this. It's missing headliner, it's missing material. Look at the door handles. Honey, it's bad. <laughs> it's bad. Paint is just fading. Everything about this car is horrible. There's nothing good about this car except the fact I think it's not rusting. Bumpers all fading. I don't know what happened here, but it is an M3, so that's okay. And on this side, it is hit, but obviously, we're gonna be cutting everything right about to here to put the new body kit on. This dent is really no big deal. The side skirts are literally just coming off. And the best part of all, <laughs> it's missing a mirror, but when you break off a mirror, you usually disconnect the plug, right? Nope, they cut it off right there. <laughs> it has potential. <laughs> One through 10, what do you think about the car? I mean, we gotta name her. What do you think about this car? I mean, I think the transformation of my car was, you know, crazy. This is gonna be crazy. This is going to be the greatest thing I've ever done on this channel. But now if you think that you we're see going that? to- What? A supply kit was dropped back there. A supply drop? Uh, yeah, a supply drop. No way. Yeah. Do you think that's the- Let's go get it. Go, go, go. <laughs> oh, 
Oh my goodness, there it is. $5,000 plus dollars in car parts to build my dream car. I can't believe it. This is honestly like the biggest delivery I've ever had. Oh my God. Yo. Here we have the M3 GTR hood. This thing is insane from fiberglass. And also this whole body kit is from DTM Fiberworks. I'm gonna leave the link in the description to the body kit in case any of you wanna do the same thing I'm doing out there or you wanna do your own style of the M3 GTR. But all right, let's unbox the big box because there's a lot of in there. Inside this box is the rest of the M3 body kit. Oh my, I've never unboxed something like this. This is crazy. Crazy. Look in here. What the heck? A rear fender, obviously. Oh my goodness. This is a side skirt, I'm guessing. Probably. Look at the front fender. That's crazy. And the finish? It's like a little kid that's opening Christmas presents. This is insane. Shout out to DTM Fireworks, man. They got this to me. I mean, the packaging is amazing. Nothing seems broken so far because it is fiberglass, so we gotta be very careful. But the packaging, they got it corners correctly. They know, they know what they're doing. There's a rear bumper. This is insane. And here is sort of assembled. <laughs> we tried our very best, ignore all the chairs and stuff. We have the M3 GTR body kit that is going on my $1,000. E46 325Ci. It's gonna be nuts. This is my first ever time installing a wide body kit and just completely stripping a car from its OEM body and putting something else back on. So I'm very excited, but obviously we have the M3 GTR hood. You got these two aggressive vents in the front and it, everything, the whole kit is fiberglass, which is a good thing because we can work with it. It's a bad thing because it could have gotten damaged, but thankfully they did such an amazing packaging. It did not get damaged. For someone just told me off camera, like there's so many numbers and stuff. There's so many things. So this is obviously, don't be like me, but this is the M3 GTR um, fender. I'm gonna put on screen just how much wider it is than the stock fender. It's actually insane, but obviously we got these vents right here. So this is all gonna be painted silver. And obviously we're gonna be painting these vents um, black, same as with the hood. That is actually, the that is basically the idea of it. Obviously here we have the aggressive side skirt. I mean, look at this quick edit. I do wanna point out, I put the side skirts backwards. This side actually goes in the front, not the rear. A whole two fist fit in here. There's like the massive hole right here. I honestly think the hardest part for this body kit is going to be putting on the side skirt. Uh, it's going to be very difficult. I also have to figure out when the when the right motor is in, which obviously we're going V8, baby. We're going with a V8, if you didn't guess it already. But I do have to figure out how we're going to do the side exit exhaust. That might be a little tricky because the stock, the car from the video game does have a side exit. We got to do that. Back here, we do have the over fender. We got to cut up the car, put the fender on. I don't know if this is the right side or if that side goes on over here. It doesn't really matter. We got the over fender and here we have the rear bumper and look how just thick and meaty this is gonna be and there's a hole right here where you can see the rear tire i mean this like there's so many holes in this body kit just like aggressive ones it's gonna be nuts i'm so excited the rear bumper might also be one of those things that are a little bit hard to get on it's gonna be a fun project with that being said we're gonna end off the video here because we gotta get started on part two which is gonna be completely taking apart the front end and a lot of like most of the car and starting to put this kit back on it's gonna be a lot of work but all i ask hit that subscribe Come back for the next video because it's gonna be crazy. Love you guys. What are we getting ourselves into? <laughs> yeah.